don't care what color your skin is or what your faith is, you deserve just as much respect as anybody else in my community. And in that community, we have seen people from all over the world, from all walks of life, thrive. And it is a spectacular thing to watch. So when your soul is inspired by a business, <laughs> you're, you're a passion for the creative ripple. Absolutely. Hello and welcome to another video from the Inspiration College. Now guys, in this video, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to look at what attraction marketing is. Now the reason why I want to do this is because you know at times when you go to the Dream Team webinar or when you see them on stage talking, you will hear them saying that, oh they are not doing recruiting, they are doing attraction marketing. Now guys, well, I'm just going to touch the surface of what attraction marketing really is and how these guys are not really doing attraction marketing how they are lying to you and of course guys you know that their system their proven system their so-called business model it's all built on deception lies and all of that so we need to look at what it is so that when you hear them talking about attraction marketing you will at least have the information and you'll be able to tell them that this is not attraction marketing so let us get into the video now guys, I'm going to shed some light on the deceit and lies that these two masterminds, Mike and Darren, of the Dream Team and also their followers would tell you. You know, oftentimes you would hear them saying that, uh, oh, our business model, oh, we are not doing uh, recruiting, we are doing attraction marketing. Uh, so guys, so I'm going to show you why they are lying to you and why they are not doing attraction marketing. And obviously they think that, you know, or they can just say whatever they want to say, use terms, you know, on, you know, their followers, gullible followers. Because of course they know that a lot of those followers won't do any research. But guys, you have the Inspiration College breaking down every single word that they would utter out of their mouth. So what is attraction marketing? Let me ask you guys, have you ever come across a post on LinkedIn or Instagram? from your favorite celebrity or influencer explaining how they use their own brands, services, or products. Uh, maybe your favorite Instagram influencer just posted a photo. So let us use that as an, as, as an example. With the caption explaining how the photo editing packs she curates have helped her become a better photographer. Or perhaps it's a famous chef like, you know, Gordon Ramsay in the UK here uh, with a YouTube uh, tutorial on how to make holiday theme classics uh, complete with expert tips, which persuades you to go to Google, you know, and search for maybe his cookbooks for more insight on how to cook like a pro. Regardless of the situation, guys, you can probably recall a recent time in which your attention was drawn to a product because someone you respect has exhibited high praise about it. That person has explained how the product makes their life better or easier. And now they can live without it. So why should they can't live without it? So why should you? So uh, this form of marketing is called attraction marketing, guys. Uh, so let us explore what attraction marketing is and how you know, you can use it, you know, to enhance your brand, if that's what you want to get into. But the fact that they are telling you that they are doing attraction marketing, and I'm telling you that it's not attraction marketing they are doing. They are forcing you to buy their overpriced, useless products, if you didn't even know what the product is. Uh, so, attraction marketing is a term for a method of marketing a product or service, guys, 
marketing a product or service. It works by providing valuable information about the item before convincing customers to buy. Now guys, when you go to their deceptive webinar, where they are, that webinar is about affiliate marketing and they don't even mention a single product that you are going to promote. They are only telling you that you are going to promote products and you are working with uh, you know, uh, suppliers. You know, they don't mention anything about Enagic. They don't teach you about the product, how to use the product, the benefits of the product. If you are going to talk about attraction marketing, then people need to know what the product is, what the service is, what you're offering. Uh, so how, how are you going to convince customers to buy if they don't even know what the product is? Guys, it's a powerful marketing strategy for both lead generation and brand loyalty. So you want leads, then you know it's very important. And when you're talking about uh, attraction marketing, you need to provide value you need to provide content you need to you know educate your potential customers on your products or your services that's how you're going to attract them to buy tell them what the product can do and you know that resonate with them uh it will satisfy their pain points so you know you don't have to force them to buy that product they would just buy the product or you know subscribe to your service freely Nobody has to force anybody to do anything. So don't you see them forcing you to actually buy those expensive uh, products on Enagic? They're actually forcing you but because you don't really need those products. It's only because you have to buy them to start the business. So it's like them forcing you. It's more like they're talking about attraction marketing. This is more like lure marketing. They lure you into Enagic using their deceptive webinar. So guys, instead of marketing messages, so let us continue. Instead of marketing messages taking the angle of this is why you need this, attraction marketing tend to take the angle of this is why I need this. So you're, you're not forcing your product on anybody. You're telling them why your product is beneficial and so they are going to, you know, gravitate to your product freely. Nobody's forcing them. It's a technique that gives companies a knowledgeable reputation that precedes their products. Heard that, guys? Attraction marketing helps you set your brand apart from competitors by focusing marketing efforts on what makes your product or service the more attractive option. So how, what I would actually want to know, when did they introduce you to Enagic? The, or the Enagic products. Enagic, the company is Enagic. The products would be their hook and their water machine. When did they introduce you to that? Remember, you actually had to pay them 149 US dollars for them to even tell you what the product is. And when you call the coach, and by the way, guys, that call that they're going to say the coach is going to call you, and they refer to that call as strategy call. It's a sales call, guys. The call to the coach, the coach calling you, it's a sales call because they are into sales. Uh, so when they're actually talking about uh, attraction marketing, how can you be attracted to something that you don't know about? <laughs> you don't know what they're going to, um, what you're going to sell, which company you're going to work with, what's the brand. You know nothing about the product. You don't know the success of the product, the cost of the product, nothing. There's no content online that they are producing which would educate you on the product. You notice they are putting out some articles, paying websites to put articles out now. This is what they're doing because they want to say that, oh, they are doing attraction marketing. I kept telling you guys that they are rebranding the dream team because of what they did in Butan with their sales funnel. They are just rebranding the, the dream team. So they are putting out all of this rubbish content for you to say, oh yeah, they are doing attraction marketing. Even when you read their content, there's nothing about the product. So how are you, how are people going to be attracted? I might think that they are, their attraction marketing is to their proven system. And I'm using proven system in quotes or their trusted system. Is that what they, they're telling you about? Because, you know, um, you don't hear them talking about 
any energy product in the webinar. It's all about their proven system, their trusted system, automation system, and how it's a world-class system and thousands of people using that system. Is that what they're talking about or it's the product? So if, for instance, guys, you, you, you have what is called inbound marketing. It says inbound marketing is a good example of attraction marketing. And what is that? For instance, if, I, if I've received a ton of high-value content from a brand, including blog posts, ebooks, and webinars, then I'm more attracted to that brand when it comes time for me to purchase a product or service that align with theirs. So this is what I'm telling you guys. You don't see them with blog posts talking about Energic. You would have to go and do research on your own from other sources. Uh, you don't, they're not giving you ebooks. You don't have the, the webinar that they, they, they are having weekly. That's a recorded webinar. And guys, I'm going to do a video on this whole webinar thing because someone sent me an email with a lot of valuable information about their webinar and how they, are, they want you to think that the webinars are live. But a lot of times it's a repeat. Nobody is, the, the people presenting, they are not really present at the webinar. They have recorded it where you might have the presenter who knows how to use uh, the system quickly do some stuff for you to think that it's live. And some of the presenters, they can't handle, you know, the strategy. So they kind of mess up a bit so you can see that something is going wrong. So this guy went into detail. He did his research and he sent me the information. So I'm preparing a video on that. That should be really interesting. So guys, at their webinar, they don't tell you. Uh, they're talking about ClickBank, eBay, Walmart, and those affiliate marketing sites. Enagic is not an affiliate marketing site. Enagic doesn't have any affiliate program. Uh, so Enagic, the business model for Enagic is totally different. Enagic is a multi-level marketing company. That again, they would tell you that Enagic is not MLM. Enagic is a multi-level marketing company, guys. You have to recruit uh, and you have to go to different levels. So that's what makes it multi-level, multi-level you have to reach certain levels, multi-level marketing. So they will always tell you, oh, it's not multi-level because they know the stigma attached to multi-level marketing. So guys, let us continue. So of course, you, you would need blog posts to provide content. You have ebook. So when people read your ebook, when they read your blog post, you are educating them on your product. You are not like pitching any kind of sale. But based on the information they are gathering, they would want to buy that product. That's how you attract them. But these guys, they don't, pro they don't provide content for you to learn about the products. They don't even tell you about the energy policies and procedures. Nothing. They just, they, they, you know, the coach just call you and just pitch that high ticket product to you. The coach should even use that time to educate you on the product. They don't do it. It's all money for them. And because they're recruiting you blindly, then they're telling you you can make six and seven figures a year, five and six figures a month. And you just get blinded by that. I'm going to show you uh, some comments. The last video I did, yeah, I showed you the comments, but I didn't comment on them. So I'm going to show you those comments where, you know, they lie again. You know, the mentor and coach lie to this girl telling her that, oh, you have your energy ID already, so you can't return the product. Because, of course, she came to my video, and then she said she can't make the payments, and she wants to cancel. And they're telling her she has the ID. I don't know. I don't know if they think energy, the energy ID is so special, if it's some British passport. You know, um, British passport is so powerful. You have a British passport, you can literally go anywhere in the world. They make it sound as if the energic ID is so powerful, like the British passport. So, oh, it's a passport, so success. So you have that number. Oh, it's so precious. You can't, you can't um, cancel. But because these um, victims, they are not, well, they weren't introduced to the policies and procedures of Energic because Energic has a return policy in their policies and procedures. So if you, have, if you have read that, you would know that what they're saying to you is a lie. Uh, 
there are certain things like the tea. I think she bought the tea. I think maybe the tea, you can't return that. But when you're talking about the hook and the water machine, you can return it um, even up to six months you have it. But it would be good for you to return it like even before 30 days. You can return it, but you need to educate yourself on the policies and procedures. I'm going to do a video. Even though I did a video before, I'm going to do a video specifically for that. So you would be more attracted to that brand when it comes time for you to purchase the product. Uh, if we take an example like Home Depot, you can Google that if you want to. It's a good example of attraction marketing. The home supply company offers weekly classes and DIY workshops on how to use their equipment. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. Uh, so they offer weekly classes and DIY workshops on how to use their equipment, offering free value to prospects without forcing them. You heard that, guys? Offering free value to prospects. So that's free content, free education to prospects without forcing them to purchase anything. What, what those coaches, mentors, those two masterminds, what are they doing? Aren't they forcing you to buy those products, telling you to go and take credit card out or to go and get a bank loan? They're not providing value. And, you know, online marketers always say that uh, you have to know you, your potential customers have to know, like, and trust you before they can buy for you. So how are they going to trust you? Even when it comes on to trust with these guys, they are so deceptive. In their webinar, they lie to you. They deceive you. They withhold information from you. They're presenting an affiliate marketing webinar to lure you into Enagic. And So how are you going to trust them? Because that's where your trust come in. There's no integrity as it relates to them. Um, the credibility is low. You know, so guys, you, you can actually see what I'm talking about. Because um, you can see how much they lie to you at the webinar. And they want to make you think that, oh, the 149 is the only thing you're going to pay. And you are surprised with that big, um, that expensive um, trifecta package. So... How would customers really trust you? And a lot of people who go into it, they regret it. Look at the Butanese. The story says that the Butanese, they ended up with water machines that they didn't know what to do with them. You tell me, who would want a product? You have people going out and shopping and buying products that they don't need. To the point where they're saying they ended up with products that they don't know what to do with them. And you're not talking about, you're not talking about any one dollar product five dollars product you're talking about a product costing five thousand us dollars up to ten thousand us dollars who would want to spend that kind of money for a product that they don't want unless they are forced to buy the product so you see where i'm getting guys attraction marketing we are talking about here they're not doing attraction marketing they are doing recruiting and if we continue guys these weekly classes, because we're talking about Home Depot, these weekly classes build loyalty and trust. Heard that, guys? The weekly classes build loyalty and trust. These guys are having weekly <laughs> recorded webinars. You're not building loyalty and trust there because people don't know what they're going to. They, people don't know what they're going to um, promote. They don't know what company they're going to work with. So, how is your webinar helping people? You're just luring people into a magic. They don't know that's where you're carrying them to, um, into a cult. And it says here, uh, so obviously that will build loyalty and trust, the weekly free classes. And that makes their products or services more attractive to their audience. <laughs> you understand? That's how attraction marketing comes in, guys. It's not about you going on Facebook and posting some motivational posts from people like Tony Robbins. <laughs> and of course, you know, they have um, the magic and the secret written by this Australian um, cult person called Rhonda Byrne. You know, you can even see why some Australians would come to my channel and, and say, oh, no, he's a nutter. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I can understand why you are saying that because 
the author of the magic and the secret and law of attraction. She came from your country, so I could understand why you're saying all of this. Uh, so that will build trust, guys. And the audience more likely to purchase from you. Uh, ultimately, guys, offering content that's accessible and valuable to the customer pique their interest in your product or service and build your reputation. It's just like I have my blog. And if you go to my blog website, guys, you would see a lot of valuable content. Even this very YouTube channel that you are watching, you would see me providing you with valuable content, free content. And you know, I'm going to do a video where I'm going to go on a little rant because it is so, I, I try to uh, respond to all of my comments on my videos and you know what my channel is heavily um, the content is heavily based on the dream team and what's going on and you you would understand that these guys are hiding information from you and then when you get into trouble you run to this channel to get the information but who are you giving your money to you are throwing your money in the pockets of these guys who are giving you false information, withholding valuable information from you, then you come to my channel where I'm providing you with the truth and you would have this super thanks button under my videos where I've been saying to you guys, you know, you can support the channel. Just click on it. You know how many people these videos have saved? Thousands of people have saved over, I mean, they have saved thousands of dollars. This information that I'm giving you guys, I wish I had this same information in 2018 when I joined them and I lost um, probably over 6,000 pounds because there was no information like this. So I've created all of this content to provide to open your eyes that you're throwing away your money and a lot of people have been saved. Guys, you can see the comments under the videos. Look at the comments and I've done videos where I show you some of the comments where people are saved by it. So you rather give your money to these guys who are lying to you, the coach and mentors lying to you just to get your money. But the person who is providing you with the information say, oh, contribute a dollar to the channel. You're not doing that. So I'm going to do a video where I go on a rant about that. But for now, let us continue. And that still won't stop me from doing, doing it, guys, because I like to help. I like to help people. I like to see when people leave comment and say, thank you. Oh, this information is valuable. I wish I'd seen it before. I lost 149, but then at least they didn't go forward with that expensive trifecta. You know, so if we continue here, guys, it says, are you ready to frame memorable marketing messages with attraction marketing? Uh, so let's go over the formula or framework you can refer to when building those messages. So how to implement attraction marketing? The biggest thing you want to do with attraction marketing, guys, is share your story. And of course, sometimes I hear the dream team members sharing their story, but obviously it's just made up story, fake it to make it. So you have to take those stories with a grain of salt. Can't believe them too much. Because of course, if they want to lure you in, they have to tell you their sad story. I'm talking about real stories here now. So the biggest thing you want to do with attraction marketing is share your story. This is a technique, guys, you can use to emotionally connect with a lead or customer and provide them answers to their questions before they even ask. When you ask these guys questions, remember this group, the dream team is a group where you have to be careful what question you ask them. Because if you ask them a question which they can't provide an answer with, they're going to see you as a problem. And man, eyes are going to be focused on you. They might even kick you out of the group. So this is even more the reason why you don't own any business. If you own a business, nobody can just switch you off like that. So guys, take for instance, if a customer wants to know how will an e-commerce tool like yours help me to be successful with my online business? And it's so funny when I say this because they would want to tell you about their proven system. And of course, guys, remember the Better Business Bureau asked them to show how their system is proven and they did not respond to Better Business Bureau. Even this question you could ask them, how, how would your system help me? And if they are going to tell you stories, then ask them, then why didn't the Bhutanese succeed at this business with your system? 
then again, guys, I would tell you that they didn't do the work. Because, you know, when it comes on to these cults and the reading, the magic and um, the secret, you have to blame yourself. You can't blame them. Because, of course, their system is proven. So, you are the variable. You didn't do the work. So, that's why you fail. They will always have an answer to tell you. And that's why these two masterminds don't take responsibility. So, a YouTube video you made about the best e-commerce tool for small business owners would answer their question. So, if you are saying that your system is proven, they should be even doing YouTube videos to show how their system is proven. They have a YouTube channel which is <laughs> outdated. They haven't posted on it for over two years. And, you know, so how can you say that you have online presence? You are an influencer. And YouTube is the second largest search engine after Google. Google own YouTube. So if you have an online marketer, why on earth wouldn't that online marketer utilize YouTube? Unless it's an MLM and that person has something to hide. And you can see that they have a lot to hide. So a YouTube video made about, you know, the tool, the system, the proven system for small business owners would answer their question or would answer your question and make you feel you can, um, you know, the system can cater to your needs directly. So the other big part of implementing attraction marketing, guys, are uh, is, you know, helpful features and, you know, defining the reusability of the product. But of course, they don't tell you what the product is until... You know, you splash all of that cash and the strong possibility that you would lose that money. So it says the biggest thing to take note of when you are starting an attraction marketing campaign is to share your story. And no fake story, true story. So it's not their fake testimonials and all of that. Uh, we buy cars and so on in the Philippines for our parents. We buy homes. Oh, we have time freedom. We are taking our kids to the park. No fake story, guys. You want to be able to connect with potential customers on a level that only come through through when you when you know when they know the story of a brand. So you know they say that the dream team is their brand, <laughs> and as I told you guys, it's just based on what happened in Butte and why they went and register the company because they were operating in Butte and without even a license, a business license. Uh, so you can see you can see that what they're doing now is just rebranding uh, because, of course, they want to make things look legitimate. And, of course, again, you know, they are running a pyramid scheme. So they want to make things look legitimate and all of that. Uh, but we know the truth. So when you're telling your story, guys, you need to ensure your marketing campaign doesn't just feel like a blatant advertisement. And, of course, you know, that's what is happening with them. Uh, so, you have to build emotional connection. So, how does one tell their story with attraction marketing? By using keywords and phrases that will build an emotional connection with potential customers. How are they building emotional connection with you guys? With this vague web webinar. No product mention. So, you see why if they are going to promote the energetic business opportunity, they need to do it properly. Uh, which, you know, you have other people having hotel launch meetings, um, displaying the products, showing you how to use the products and all of that, uh, educating you on the products, even though they are making claims of health benefits and all of that without, and uh, nobody cares, well, you have the, you know, the medical um, authorities, they can't, they haven't proved anything that they, the alkaline water is good for anything. You know, but if you just should assume that's what they say, they should be educating you. You have to like go and do your own research on that when they should be doing it. Because of course they are hiding information from you. It's just the business they're interested in, not really the, the, the benefits of the product. So they should share how, you know, how using the product empower you as a marketer or as a consumer. Are they doing that? The Dream Team members, are they doing that? They're only recruiting you into the uh, blind business. They should also name the product and helpful features. Do you see them doing that at the webinar? 
when you are building this message, you guys, mention the product by name. Hyperlink a product page, if possible. Connect a product feature to the task it help you solve. For example, if one of the features of your service is automation, you know that they have the automation tool, mention how the automated service use machine learning to make your life easier. That way, customers can visualize how their lives would be improved from the experience of using your service. You'll probably hear them telling you, oh, the system is working in the background. Oh, the system, you don't have to do any selling. The system is doing the selling for you. Some of them don't even, they cannot even, you know, they say they're running Facebook ads and they cannot even put a Facebook pixel on their website for retargeting. They can't do that. Someone else has to do it for them. They don't even know what the code looks like because they have somebody doing, they, they cannot even connect a domain name to a website or to a landing page because they have somebody doing it for them. What kind of business is that? If it was so easy for you to just relax and someone else running your business for you, don't you think that everybody would be doing it, guys? But they would still be going to 9 to 5 job. So guys, if we take an example, if one of the features of your service is automation, mention how the automated service use machine learning to make your life easier. So if we look at another one, Emphasize the future value. So finally, it's a good idea to mention how using the product or service is such a delightful experience that you have fit it into your lifestyle. It's the chat box you have created part of your daily routine. Have the developing tool you are launching help you with, you know, like data entry. So guys, I'm just actually giving you just a taste of what attraction marketing is and i came across a video and i'm going to leave the link of that video in the description of this video guys if you watch that video this would even be much more clearer to you what attraction marketing is and when you watch that video guys you would that video has almost a million views when you watch that video look at what these guys are presenting to you these dream team members those two masterminds look at what they're presenting to you and tell me if it's anything close to attraction marketing that they are telling you about. So if the customers know how you use your own product, they'll be more inclined to seek more information. After all, who isn't on the hunt to make their lives easier? So since you're saying that the water machine is good, for the produce can gain water for health, alkaline water and all of that. And guys, if you want to create alkaline water, all you need to do is get some baking soda, put it in water, and you get you don't have to buy any expensive useless machine. You can just add baking soda to water, you get your alkaline water. So it's using this formula will help you build attraction marketing, messages that will matter to your customers. It will show how your brand is customer obsessed but also shows that there are humans behind the product who enjoy it as much as the audience will. So you're not forcing your product on anybody. People will buy the Energic Water Machine freely. They don't have to want to go into any business to buy it. They just buy the machine freely to use it. But guys, if you should check it, you would, know that, you would notice that most of the people who purchase those products are people in the business it's not people who purchase and just don't want to do the business it's people in the business that's why it's recruitment so to make sure your campaign is the most effective it can be we have put together a list of tips to bring your attraction marketing ideas from good to great so if we look at the list guys attraction marketing tips one of them would be pick the right channel when you use attraction marketing, you have to pick the right channel for your messaging. For instance, Twitter won't work. Uh, so Twitter won't work so well. You know, it's now X. That won't work so well if you are trying to tell a story because I you know you have limited characters and all of that. Uh, so for this reason, choosing a platform that supports long-form content, even like this cha YouTube channel, you know, you can provide long-form content. Um, that would most likely be the winning strategy. 
So, however, guys, if you only have accounts for visual platforms like Twitter, which is now X, Instagram, you can use graphic like Instagram, you can use graphics and videos to deliver your message, to tell your story. But what are they using those platforms for? Showing you that they're going to the beaches, showing you that they're going to going on holidays. Sometimes it's just the normal holiday that you can go on to, guys. Sometimes I might even use Photoshop, <laughs> change the background, um, have a picture, and then they can easily change. I can easily go to Photoshop, put my picture with a background that I'm at the beach, that I'm at Las Vegas. <laughs> you know, you, you have technology can do so much stuff. So that's why it's very difficult to believe some of them when they're telling their stories. You have to take their story with a grain of salt. Because, of course, they were trained to tell stories so that they can... That's their attraction. Trained to tell you fake stories to lure you in. So like on Instagram, you can leverage stories to explain your message through a carousel of images and entice audience to engage with you. Or an alternative, you can make a post, you know, on your main feed. Uh, people can see your post and all of that. And the post should be true. No fake post. Uh, so to promote your business online, guys, um, like especially if you have like a consulting firm and all of that, you know, attraction marketing, you have a lot of information you can put, you can put there. Uh, the second one is show some personality with your messages. So when you talk to your potential uh, customer, make sure you are coming to them as a person rather than as a marketer. In order to connect with your audience, you have to know what they respond to and cater to their interest. So you're not forcing anybody to buy anything. And you have to mention the facts about the product, guys. You're not going to lie about old... You remember in the coronavirus um, dilemma, they're talking about, oh, this can cure, <laughs> cure coronavirus and the FTC came down on them. You're not lying about the benefits of your product. You're telling the truth. It's important to note that even though you are telling a story in your narrative, you need to keep the information factual, no lie. And you know that lying is a part of their vocabulary. If you are using statistical data, make sure the data is current. If you are explaining features of your product, maintain accuracy. So you see a whole lot of stuff you have to do, guys. So that's really um, just the, the, how could I put it now, just the surface of attraction marketing. Uh, and as I say, guys, this video Check the link in the description of this video. It will it'll, it'll take you to a video where if you really want to know what attraction marketing is, because you're going to hear these guys telling you that, oh, this is attraction marketing. is not recruiting. It's recruiting, guys. They are not doing any attraction marketing. They are forcing people to buy their overpriced products. That's what they're doing. That's why people are saying, oh, I don't want to have to pay for this for the next 12 months. I'm going to show you that comment where the girl wanted to return the item because she doesn't want to. She didn't know she was going to have to pay so much money for 12 months. If she really wanted the product, why would she be saying that? It just goes to show that they're forcing people to buy those products. In my case, I didn't need the water machine. I just wanted to do the business, not realizing that it was just a big scam. So that's really what it is, guys. So, I, I, you know, I say I really want to do this video on the whole matter of attraction marketing because you hear them saying it, even on stage you would hear those two masterminds saying it, that it's not recruiting, is attraction marketing. And for you to understand why I'm saying they are lying to you, then that's why I you know, produce this information for you. So again, guys, if you like this video, I would like for you to subscribe, to share it. Guys, just like the video, share it. YouTube will push it to more people. I have a lot of videos um, that I've uploaded recently on the whole matter of this group, um, brainwashing you with uh, the magic, um, with um, the secret, law of attraction and all of that, which is not going to help you. It's just going to mess you up. And especially if you are a Christian, you don't want to get yourself involved with books like those. Uh, telling you that the universe is God. 
God created the universe. So thanks again for watching guys and catch you in another video.